Opening an iPod Nano 3rd generation is more difficult than the previous models because of the metal clips holding them together. Insert the tool provided and work it around the perimeter of the iPod until you release all the clips. Take your time and be careful not to exert too much pressure in one area as the face plates are easily broken. There are six screws that need to be removed from the iPod, however they have two different threads. Make a note as to where you remove the coarse thread screws as opposed to the fine thread screws. The LCD has tabs that need to be gently pried up before you can remove it. Be careful not to scratch the face plates in our LCD cover. The click wheel is connected to the main board by a small ribbon cable. Flip up the tab on the opposite side of the connector as where the ribbon is inserted. It rotates up at 90 degrees. Then wiggle it free. The main board may have some adhesive holding it in place. Gently pull it from the faceplate. There is a small clip by the headphone jack. Remove it and set it aside. The LCD has the same type of connector as the click wheel. Flip up the tab and wiggle the ribbon cable free. Then remove the LCD. Line up the new LCD's ribbon cable and insert it into the connector. Make sure it is in as far as it can go and lock down the tab. Place the main board back into its position on the faceplate. Insert the click wheel ribbon cable back into the connector and lock down the tab. Snap the headphone jack back into place and replace the side clip as you found it. Match up the side clip to the corresponding clip on the back plate. Then place the iPod on a flat surface and snap it back together.